Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Chloe. I am a singer songwriter, writer and a guitarist, as you probably will be able to tell by the title. And <coughs> hang on a second. So this is not my usual setup if you're new here. You probably don't know that. If you're not new then you obviously know that this is very rare for me to have a setup like this and have lighting as terrible as this as well. But today, I thought that it would be worth kind of showing you myself changing my guitar strings and guitar strings, like I'm changing my guitar strings basically and basically cleaning my guitar and everything like that so we are gonna get straight into it I'm not entirely sure what you can actually see at the moment but I actually have my strings in this packet here I'm just gonna pop that on top of my guitar and I'm gonna open it I'm gonna show you the strings I've got so as you can see these are the strings that I will be putting on this guitar just here. These are the Elixir acoustic guitar strings with the Phosphor Bronze Nano Web coating. They are two separate things by the way. And then this is kind of like the gauge, if I'm remembering correctly, of the strings. And these were actually on sale on Amazon for 13 quid or something like 13, 14 quid. Something like that on Amazon, like UK. Originally about 17 quid, I think. This is going to be a bit weird for me, considering I have oh, never used these strings before. But here we have all of the strings, as you can see. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my equipment with me. I've obviously got the strings back there. I've then got this trusty like three and one. So this metal here is to cut the strings, string winder, and pin puller, which is probably the first thing we're actually gonna do. Probably have to do it like this. Thing is, I really don't want to like pull the pin out and have the string fling in my face. I don't think the worst fear. <sighs> the thing with changing strings is that something is bound to happen. I think I'm probably gonna take like all of the strings off, off camera. If I just basically undo all of these, just a little bit so the strings are loose, I can then pull the pins out. You know what I could have been doing this whole time? get why this won't come out oh something popped out of place see there's all me thinking that all of this process would be majestic obviously not maybe I can try the other way it might be useful there we go that's the second one <sighs> I have no clue what you guys can see right now. I'm just kind of going with it at the moment. And it's pissing down with rain outside. And I have all of the pins out. Ta-da! can now go ahead and pull all of these strings out. All of these old strings. By the way, the these strings that are currently on this guitar that I'm taking off now, I believe I have no clue. I cannot actually remember the last strings I put on this guitar, but it's so bad. That's one string. Kind of have to. I hate doing this part. Um. Guitar's worst fear. Nope, that is going to have to stay straight for some time being. This process is so tedious. 
there we go we have three more strings to go okay so the guitar is now bare so the next process would be to take these trusty things so this is an ernie ball microfiber cloth and then this is the dunlop 65 ultimate lemon oil and i'm going to use the both of these to clean the whole guitar down and um you, you can see that bit of dust there there's a little bit of dust inside oh my god time to clean it um what am i doing cleaning So, I'm actually going to start off by cleaning this part here. I'm actually going to, oh dear, take this part out of the bridge, give that a good wipe down, because yes, we love a good wipe down of the guitar. So, how do we use this shape bottle gum? Spray one to two pumps onto a clean cloth, work to and grime, and grime free and wipe away any excess oil. Okay, so let's give this a good sh shake shake. Actually, I might go ahead and just wipe down the head first before doing the fretboard. It makes sense. I've got a little bit... Uh, um, so I've had this guitar for five years now and or almost five years i believe i think it was for my 13th birthday actually oh my god yes it was it was for my 13th birthday and i already have a little paint chipped paint at the top on the head a little bit down here on the body and by the way guys if you are wanting to use this lemon oil on your guitar just please be aware that you cannot use it on maple fretboards. Oh my god, this is grim. It's really accentuating these string marks. Okay, so my battery is actually flashing right now. So, I'm going to continue cleaning, and you'll see the after shot afterwards. It's a few days later since I started trying to change my guitar strings. I had many problems. So, the first problem I encountered was I couldn't get the strings on myself. So I then had to wait, by the way it's currently the 21st of June, I can't remember when I filmed like the first lot of clips, but it's probably been about a week actually, almost. Yeah so the first problem I had was I couldn't, I really struggled putting the strings on myself, and then I decided to wait until Tuesday so I could go into college and get someone to do it for me and I kind of went to the wrong person because I feel really bad for kind of like saying this on here but I just I kind of have to explain so our technician um is not the best at his job and I actually went to him and had my guitar be strung here's the problem which I will show you like close up uh, in a little bit. And so I had already gotten the E and the A string, E the E and A strings on already. Everything was fine. Took it in on Tuesday, and I actually had it restrung and got it back to me by like Wednesday afternoon. Hmm. And then because it's a Friday today. Yesterday was kind of like my last day of college for the week um, And I noticed a few things one the E and the A strings had been touched when I had already put them on and the 
E and the A string at, on the head were rubbing, were not rubbing together, but they were really close together. And I am going to show you what I mean now. So I know I should probably tune it if I'm going to use it soon. But, um, yeah, that's not tuned. Because obviously with new strings, you can't, they stretch a lot, they do a lot of stretching. I'm going to show you what I mean by rubbing together and really close together and oh yeah the the E string low E string was round was wound the wrong way around I don't know if you're actually going to be able to see this actually this kind of works okay so we are looking at the bottom here do you see what I mean so don't mind this this is just part of the strap. Let's move that out of the way. That's not going to move out of the way. Um, so this string, and by the way, I'm kind of half wearing my work uniform, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, this string was touched by the technician when I already had it on. Like these two bottom strings here, although I had already put on, and I did not do it like this. And if it was me, I would definitely know. But then this has collected a lot of fluff, this string here. Because it wasn't poking out like that when I um, handed it to the technician. And then, because that's been wound, wound around the wrong way, of course, the A string is very close to that tuning peg. Um, so I'm really hoping that doesn't wrap, but for the time being, it is okay, because I will get that changed at some point. Be interesting, hang on a second. Okay, the bottom two strings have definitely been touched, because they were firmly... Okay, have a look at this part. These two were firmly pressed in, but now they're not. They've definitely been touched. And they've been... They've been pulled out. You probably won't be able to see that, but they have been pulled out. Like, a lot. I don't know what's going on with this, um, bridge here. I would have no clue. But, um, this was definitely not me. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to really sit down and do much, but I am going to show you what it sounds like. So I'm going to have to tune this bad boy up. And if you are interested in a free app, this is not sponsored by the way, but this is not sponsored, but Guitar Tuner, which I'll leave the name of the app around here somewhere, is really handy. And because this top string has been wound the wrong way around, got to learn to move it around the right way. And yes, despite the fact that I have... Um, been playing for six years I still cannot tune by ear. So let's give this a little play. I do have a pick somewhere. Um, it's just trying to get to it. There we go, we have a pick now. got an F major, D minor, A minor, A minor, E, B, B minor. What else could I play? I could play a C major. Uh, what haven't I played? I haven't played a G. I also haven't played a D, a D major. Okay, so the thing I am going to say about these strings is that I'm not used to the sound. So it does have quite a bright sort of tone and I don't really know. It's interesting. Um, I'm not used to the way the strings sound, 
but they do sound nice. Um, personally, I, I quite like it when you get a little bit of wear and tear with a guitar. It's probably not the best thing to say because obviously you don't want any of the strings to like snap or anything. But like after you've been playing for a while, the strings sound uh, begin to sound a lot better. So I reckon a couple months down the line, I'm gonna really like these strings, and I'm probably gonna want to get them again. However, the strings before that I used on like this guitar were a lot cheaper. So it honestly, depends on my budget around December. And that completes everything. My guitar has been completely restrung. Yes, I'm wearing all black. Don't judge me because I have to go to work soon. I just thought I'd film that quick clip while I remembered that I had actually filmed this vlog and don't actually have didn't actually have the the rest of it done because I made the stupid decision of going to college to get my guitar restrung. Um but I have a feeling next week I'm probably gonna end up going to another teacher to get them to sort it out. It's been eventful this week trying to get that thing restrung. But that is everything for this vlog if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure to subscribe down below also comment down some ideas of what you'd like to see from me in the future i'd be really interested to know what you'd like to see more of and all of my social media links are also in the description for you to go ahead and check out so that is all for this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye